We've just finished Season 1 with Kings Lynn. Let's go and have a look at how we've got on over the last 10 months in today's episode of Walks to the Prem. Alright guys, it's me, Bad Jokes, back at you once again with another video. And today guys, we've got episode number 8 of the Kings Lynn Walks to Prem save here on FM20. And a little bit different today, no football games for you guys today. But instead, what we are going to be doing is having a bit of a deep dive, a bit of a look at the team and how they've got on over the last 10 months. We're going to look at player stats, team stats, the league table. You can obviously see behind me, we finished 10th in the league. And we're going to look at like team of the year awards, player of the year awards, and whatever else awards we can find. And whatever else I can squeeze in to the next 15, 18 minutes, something like that. So first things first, let's have a look at the team of the year award. And first up, it's Oliver Byrne in goal. Little bit of a surprise that. I maybe might have put Street in. I don't know, they're two very even goalkeepers. So either or would have been right. But then on the left-hand side of the defence is Louis Swain. Can't really argue with that. He's been pretty solid all season. Smith and Fryer as the centre-backs. Again, can't really argue a whole lot. They've been pretty much our main centre-back pairing all year. So not really too much else to choose from. Aaron Jones at right-back. He's one who I have quite enjoyed watching this year. Let's have a look, see what stats he's had. Yeah, he's played 37 games, only scored twice, maybe might have liked one or two more, but oh well. And he's got an average rating of 7.02 for the season as a whole. So yeah, I'm happy with that. So I can see why he's been picked to go in at right back there. And then on the left hand side, it's Chris Henderson, Clunan and Payne in the middle of the park. Alfie Payne, as you can see, also won the fans' player of the season. He is out of contract at the end of the season. So I might try and see if we can bring him in. Not really feeling that confident about it. But Alfie Payne is one we are going to be looking to bring in for next season. Hawkins on the right-hand side. Let's have a look at his stats. 29 appearances with one sub. 4 goals, 8 assists. With an average rating of 7.14. Fairly happy with that. Again, he's out of contract at the end of the season. I might just try and keep him in. Because I don't want to lose too many people. I don't want to have a whole new team for next season. And then it takes us 2-3 months to get gelling again. So he's one who I am going to be looking at keeping. And then up top is a bit of a surprise. Michael Gass alongside Marriott. I would have put Spy Rides there. To be quite honest, I would have put him there. I think Michael Gass has been quite poor all season. He's played 21 games or 21 starts with 13 sub-appearances. So that's what, 34 altogether. And then he's only contributed 6 goals with 4 assists and an average rating of 6.91. I'm quite glad his contract is up at the end of the year. Because he's on a lot of money, 450 quid a week, and he's 34 years old. He can't run, he can barely put the ball in the back of the net these days. So yeah, absolutely no hope for him staying at the football club. And then behind Alfie Payne in the fans player of the year is the captain Michael Clunan. And then the striker Adam Marriott, who has been quite disappointing this season. I know he's really good in real life. But here on FM, he scored 17 goals and got 7 assists. I would have liked 20 goals. I would have liked 20 goals out of him. But maybe next year, he's got another year of experience. But I think, I think next year could be Marriott's last one with us. I don't like having too many players over the age of 30 in the football club. And so his contract ends at the end of next season. So I might just let him run it out. And then just try and move move him on and get a replacement next summer. And then our goal of the season came from Chris Henderson versus Bradford PA. Let's have a look, see if the game's going to let us have a look at it. 
as indeed I think it is. And here we are. It was Payne with the ball. Went out wide to Hawkins. He crossed it wide. And Henderson hit it one time on the half volley from 30 yards out. I think you've got to agree, that is most definitely a goal of the season contender. And very, very well worth winning our goal of the season competition. And then our signing of the season, there wasn't too much to choose from. I think we'll have a look at the transfers in a moment. It's Odyssey Spy Rides is the signing of the year. Can't really argue too much with that. And then young player of the season as well is Alfie Payne. So he's won both player of the season awards. And then let's go and have a look at what this says here for our season review. Kingsley will look back on the season as a job well done. As they impressed sufficiently to break clear of mid-table obscurity. Still think 10th is mid-table but not going to argue with them if they think it's even better than that. And the Linux were one of the competition's feel-good stories defying expectations and thanks to an impressive spell of form that began in September saw them rise as high as ninth and were able to celebrate a job well done I will take that and obviously of course we failed in the FA Cup we lost in the fourth qualifying round versus Braintree when the board wanted us to get into the first round and an FA Challenge trophy we lost in the first round of that to Chelmsford but we did get 10th in the league our best match of the season was against Altrinham, three goals to one victory, and our oh, moment to forget, the Chester game, 6-2 versus Chester, hated that game, absolutely hated that game, but unfortunately, our average attendance is only 596, nowhere near what we're getting in real life down at the walks, the stadium is only, well, that's saying only 7% full. Does that mean for the whole season or... Because I'm sure... Cause like, cause like that means that the stadium would be like five, ten thousand 10,000-seater, wouldn't it? I'm, my maths is going wrong here. If you can work out what that means for the average attendance, where it's only saying 7% full, but we're getting 596 average attendance, please let me know. And we had the joint 12th highest... Uh, amount of players used at 23 so exactly mid table exactly average yet yeah, i tried to keep the team fairly uh what do we call it what's the word fairly stable that's the word and so yep yeah, that's why we only used 23 players and now next up is a club vision and expectation meeting so what are we saying for next season they want a top half again and our contract ends at the start of next season. And that's, is that all they're saying? Are they not saying anything for in the Cups? I'll take that. I will take that. So accept that current vision. And that is that sorted. And now squad dynamics update. Let's have a look at the dynamics before we get into the season meeting. Du -du -du. Who is supporting me? So let's click on my name. And so 11 players support me, 10 have no real opinion. I've known you guys for a year. How can you have no real opinion of me? Muppets. But anyway, luckily, I am supported by the three highly influential players, but not by the team leaders. Okay. But one bit of news is that Alex Street is leaving the football club. He's already come and asked me for a transfer request. Why he's asked me for that, I don't know. When his contract is up in a couple of months. So, yeah, he could have just left. Don't know why he's asked for a request, but whatever. Unfortunately, like I say, those three don't support me. But the highly influential ones do. And two of the next rung down do. So, if Street goes, hopefully one of these will move into a team leader. I'm thinking it might be Henderson. I've got a funny feeling it could be Henderson moving up. So, so then I will have a team leader supporting me. And social groups. We've got one core social group. And we've got poor old Harry Lim on his own. Oh, that's mean. That is very, very mean, boys. I know he's young and he's from Northern Ireland. But he can't help either of those things. Bring him into your social group, boys. 
that's going to be a target for next year. A little side target. Get Harry Lim up into the main social group there. And so I think that's everything you want to look at for dynamics. Let's go and do that team meeting. And I'm going to say we want top half for next season. And the season's over and it's time for you all to go and have a well-deserved break. And yeah, top half. Let's see what they think about that. Yep, they're happy with that. Happy, happy days. And yeah, I think all the rest of these inboxes are just about players being on trial. Yeah, it is. I'll deal with that off camera. And injury report. How? But I don't think we had that many injuries. No, we didn't. I I filed an annual report of the percentage of the season players that you've missed through injury. Uh, Spyride has been sidelined the most. Well, he was sidelined once for two months. Marriott has had three injuries, but there yeah, that's not bad. Only having one player out for more than a month. If we can carry that on next season, that would be very nice. And so, yeah, let's have a look at transfers. Let's go transfers, transfer history. And let's have a look at all these ones that I've brought in. So, Odyssey Spy Rides. We've already had a little bit of a look at him. 7.04 rating. We obviously brought him in on a free. We're only paying him 110 quid a week. And so, I think that's a decent little return. I think we're going to see more from him next season. Him and Mario up top could be quite a good partnership next year. And then after him, we brought in Joshua Webb again on a freebie deal. And he was previously at Kidderminster, also in this league. And as far as his overall stats, Joshua Webb has played 12 games with 5 subs. Only got an average rating of 6.8. Little bit disappointing. How old is he? 24. So he can still improve. Hopefully he will. He has got 5 star potential ability apparently. So hopefully next couple of years he can really kick on. And become someone special for us. And then next up Louis Swain. Who was previously at Geisley. He's played 28 plus 4. He's 33. I can do maths. No I can't. 32. That's it. So he scored one goal, 6.99 average rating. And yeah, he's another one who I think he needs another year. But if he doesn't impress next year, I will be letting him go on a freebie once again. And then after him came in the keeper who did get into our team of the year, Oliver Byrne. He was previously at Stevenage but started off at Man United. He had 20 games, conceded 35 goals, and only kept four clean seats. Our biggest concern this year has been our defence and the amount of goals we did let in. And so, last one in through the door was George Brown in January, the right-hand sided midfielder. He only played five games for us, only made the one start. Definitely our worst signing yet, but he's still got time to improve. Once again, he's still free star with four star potential ability. Maybe he might be able to improve. He needs to do a lot of training in the summer though, I think. And so what should we have a look at next? Let's have a look at let's have a look at the squad. And then we'll go do the club vision and whatever else before I let your boys go. And so we've got it sorted here by average rating. Ryan Hawkins has got our best rating with 29 appearances with one sub. And so, yep, 7.14. Sonny Carey coming in second. He did only play eight games, though, towards the end of the season. But that's very nice to see. Like I said in the last episode, he's quickly becoming one of my favourite players. So I am expecting big, big things from him next year. Michael Cloonan, the captain, played 44 games, barely missed any game time, scored five goals, got us six assists, and got us an average rating of 7.08. Very good season from the captain. Ryan Jarvis, we've already looked at. Adam Marriott, have we looked at him? I'm not quite sure. If we have, I'm sorry, guys. 
but he's got 13 finishing still, 4 star current, 4 star potential ability. And then next up after him was Spy Rides, Harry Lim, the man who is all out in the social group on his own. He's played 11 games with 14 subs and got a 7.03. Ryan Fryer is the centre back and he's got a 7.02. So it's fairly decent that we've got 3, 6, 9 players all with an average rating over 7. 10 if you count Nathan Fox who's also got himself a 7.00 rating. And so let's have a look and see at the contracts. Have I got a view here for contracts? No, I haven't. So let's just go to that. And who is expiring? Uh, duh, 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 duh. Yep, we'll do it like that. These two are on non-contracts. Yeah, they are. So that's why they're not showing up. So Jarvis, Jarvis down to uh, Alec Ryan Hawkins are all out of contract in the summer. Henderson I want to keep. Street has already said he wants to leave. Hawkins is listed. I'm not sure why he's listed. I don't I don't quite remember listing him. I think he was listed ever since before I got here. And I just never took him off. Whoops. So let's take him off. And hopefully he will agree to sign a new contract with us. Because like I say he's got 7.14 for the season. So Hawkins we want to keep. Henderson we want to keep. Jones, he got into the team of the year, didn't he? My memory is so bad. Let's just check that. Yeah, he did. So, we want to keep him as well. Sam Kelly, how many games did you do play this year? 10 games with 11 subs, 6.99. On 200 quid a week. Think I'm happy to let him go. Think I'm happy to let Sam Kelly go, to be honest. Nathan Fox is the backup left back to Louis Swain. And he's got a 7 point rating. So he's one who I want to keep as well. Rory McCauley. You played 15 games. Got a 6.9. You're 30 years old. 200 quid a week. I think we can spend that money a little bit better. So I'm going to be letting McCauley go if I'm honest. And I think everybody else is on a contract till the end of next year. So, not that many players who we need to be replacing, if I'm honest. Only Alex Street going. Uh, yeah, Alex Street is the main one who's going to be going. So, maybe two or three. We definitely need new strikers for next year. We need, new, we need another striker. We need a better defence, I think you can say. And so, let's go into the squad depth. And, yep, there you go. Like you can see, Chris Smith is four-star. McCauley is three, but we're going to be letting him go. And, yeah, McCauley is our second-best centre-back, and he's only three-star. We need... we need. Ooh, sorry about that, lads. We need some better central defenders, because if you have a look at our league stats, and if we do it... By do, 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 do. if we do it by goals conceded, we were the third highest for goals conceded in the league. So we really need to tighten up. We need a better defence. And so what else do we have a look at? Anything else you can think I can look at? If I do forget anything and you want to see anything, please do let me know in the comment section down below and I'll try and bring it to you in the next video. This is the first time I'm doing a season review. So I'm not quite sure what to look at and what not to look at. So yeah, next thing, club vision. So that is the goals for next season. Is it not going to show us the one for this year? Um, there we go. So we're currently on a C+. They're pleased with our win against Southport recently. Happy with the level of support I've got. And encouraged by Alfie Payne's recent performances. So maybe it could be really important to try and keep Alfie Payne for next year. I'm on a C for club vision. B plus for matches. That's quite surprising. C plus for transfers and yet for both areas. The transfers with the board and the fans. C for tactics. 
and B- minus for squad. So I'm quite happy with that. And club vision, yep, that's just that one again. Just still getting used to this new club vision, people. Uh, transfer activity, does it do it by player in? Oh, yes, it does. That's, that's quite cool. I really like that. And so the board are content with the deal for Louis Swain. And the fans feel he's been average and pretty much as expected. But the fans are happy that Odyssey Spy Rides has been better than first thought. And I've got an A- minus for that one. C plus overall from both T, both people, both the board and the fans. Anything else here? Tactics? Not a whole lot to look at there. Squad? Uh, dressing room atmosphere is good. Managerial support is very good. And Bobby? Who's Bobby? Bobby apparently believes that the fans appreciate that despite his tender age, Alfie Payne's assists have proved valuable to the team. I'm guessing Bobby is like a supporter spokesperson or something. If you know who this Bobby is, please do let me know because I'm completely confused about why I'm being told about his opinion on a, one of my players. That's really confusing to me. And so, yep, yeah, I don't think there's much else to be looking at. I can't think of anything else. Nope. Uh, no, I think we have looked at everything. All right, guys, that's where we're going to leave it. So if you've enjoyed that video and if you've enjoyed the whole series as a whole, please do give me a massive thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more Football Manager 2020 content. This is the only Kingsland series you need to be watching on YouTube this year. And so follow me on Twitter at Bad Jokes Gaming. Follow me into the Passion for FM Discord server and check out the Passion for FM website. Got some very awesome downloads in there. Like my squad views I've been using. Let's just show them up here now. See, all this good stuff, that's all come from Passion for FM. So please do check out the website. And yep, guys, I think that's just about everything. Please do let me know if you've liked this video. Like I say, it's my first one doing a season review. So I want to get better at them. So I'm going to be doing more as this series progresses. So yep, guys, thank you very much for watching. And I shall see you later. Bye.